You at six. Speaking of classrooms, Governor Ivey wants the state to require your kids to go to kindergarten. In her State of the State address, the governor called on lawmakers to create the new standard requiring your children to complete kindergarten instead of skipping to go to the first grade. Our Shelby County reporter, Anjanae Robinson, is live and on your side now to explain why the governor thinks these new laws are so important. Well, Jonathan, Sarah, the governor says that she wants first grade teachers to focus on preparing a child, expanding a child's education and preparing students for second grade, not focusing, not bringing them up to that first grade level. We will no longer accept the existence of failing elementary schools in our state. Governor Ivey urging lawmakers to make kindergarten mandatory in our state. It's a move Richard Franklin with the American Federation of Teachers agrees with, saying for years kindergarten is a crucial part of a child's education. You know, for the good of the kids, we have to make, make certain things mandatory. Um, and it helps our society in the long run. Now, Franklin went on to say that there are standards for each grade level and kindergarten provides students with the fundamentals needed for academic success. And this is the foundation. I'll just make it simple for people. This is the foundation. If you don't get this foundation, uh, you're going to be behind. There's no if and buts about it. Now, Franklin believes the governor's plan to require kindergarten for all Alabama students is a step in the right direction. Now, under current education laws, completion of kindergarten is not required to enter the first grade here in the state of Alabama. Reporting live from Shelby County, Ajne Robinson, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.